like. It could be organic if you like. I'm just using just a regular whole milk. Whole milk. Okay. And I'm going to pour it into the pan. One gallon of whole milk? One, One gallon, gallon of milk. whole milk. Okay. Fresh with the better. That's been the story of your life. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add... <laughs> One and a half teaspoons. I love Camille. Citric acid. Citric acid. And again, you can get citric acid from a um, cheese maker. Cheesemaker.com. All right. We're just gonna sprinkle it on top. If we ever get it open, it's already been opened and used a million times. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't dip the spoon in there, Sandy. One and a half teaspoon, One right? One and a half teaspoons, just sprinkle it all over. All right, and then go ahead and start with the, we're gonna use a, um, it's like really a pasta spoon, um, but you could use whatever. It's, it's got like a, a strainer? It's got a strainer, yeah. or it's gotta have like. Yeah, slotted, uh, like a slotted, uh, Flat spoon. Like exactly, exactly. And like, um, if you lift it out right now, yeah, you can see some of the curds are starting to form. Wow. Um, you have to bring it up to a boil. Is, well, it would help if the um, <laughs> fire was turned on. Yeah, it would really help a lot. That seems to help some. <laughs> well, it's important before you turn the fire on to to incorporate it into the milk. <laughs> okay, where's the bar, burner? Uh, what temperature do we need to heat it up to? We want to heat it to 88 degrees. 88 degrees? 88 degrees. That's not too warm. No, no, it's not at all. So nowhere all. near close to the boil then, huh? No. Should we turn the fire down to like a medium? No, it's all right right where it is, I think. It is? I'm okay with it where it is. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> Let's bring, let's bring it out and show some of the curves if they're... No, we're not getting curves yet. It'll, we'll start getting curves in a minute. Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> One of John's weapons. Whoa. We got weapons falling here. Do we have any curds forming yet? Really? No. We got bubbles. But we're about at 60 degrees. You need a drink. <laughs> you getting to go? This is what Sandy's homemade mozzarella. It is. You put any seasoning in it? Salt or pepper or anything? I put salt and I put cheese salt. But that's cheese salt? Cheese Again, salt. Again on cheesemaker.com. But I really think you could use kosher salt. And see if you know what it was? It coarse? Is it coarse like it's that? Real, it's, um. Is that what? This is cheese salt. Yeah. Let's see. I think it's slightly different. I think it's kind of like a fine, like a finer type of salt. New England Cheese Making Supply Company. The cheesemaking.com. Cheesemaking.com. Is that what you ordered from? Yeah. Oh. And we're almost at that 88. Are we? Hi, hey girl. And are we getting like lift up the spoon again? No, not yet. This is Did weird. Is you put enough of your tablet? Hmm. You put the. Uh, oh, you didn't put that in. Not yet, not till it gets 88. When it gets 88, we're gonna put that in. It's getting there. We're about at 80, almost at 80. Girly. Oh, now we got curds now, Sandy. Oh, good. Look, look. Well, hold on, hold on. I now have she's, she's gonna show you a little bit of curds. See the curds, see? Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. A little bit. Wanna keep that fire up on high? Yeah, you want to keep it on high until it gets to 88. As soon as it gets to 88, we're going to add the... Is it rennet? 
Yeah, the rennet and water, a quarter cup of water. Now what does rennet do to it? Uh, it like um, it makes it hard. It, it Soli makes it solidifies curd. the yeah, curds. Yeah, solidifies it. And again, I keep it. I keep mine in the freezer. Um, you order like 12 tabs at a time. It takes a quarter of a tab or oh, a lot gallon of, cheese. of milk. A lot of cheese. Yeah. Is it and like an active ingredient, like yeast or something? Is that why you keep it in the freezer? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And you just keep it in the freezer, and then when you need it, you take out a quarter of okay, tab. Okay, I think we're all, we are almost at 88 here. Okay. But we're just a few degrees away. Hey, what let me just doing? say who's who we have on, on spoons tonight. This is Camille, <laughs> beautiful Camille Libby. So good to see you again. Boy, she's a natural on camera. <laughs> good to see Jack. <laughs> okay, we're there, Sandy. We're there. All we're right, there. you're gonna pour this in. Do we turn the heat off? Not yet. Stir. You're gonna stir it a little bit, and it, immediately you're gonna see it. It's gonna start to break down. What you're going to want to do is let it um, go for about four to five minutes. And probably probably breaks down the milk solids. It's going to. You're Separates gonna see, you're the gonna water. You're going to see the curd and red yeah. away, just like the old fairy tale. Yeah, wow. In about two minutes or less. And maybe you could stop stirring for just a I second and just sort of it. like let it go. It's going to start there. It's I can see it's going. It's working. It's working. Yeah, there you go. It's it's going to start. There you go. Oh, there see you it? Go ahead and start stirring. Yeah, you can see. Should I stir? You can stir every once in a while. You don't have to stir uh, constantly. Yeah, you can see it's getting thicker when you yeah, stir. Yeah, like take out a spoonful of it and show the camera. See? See how it's Yeah. Doing? So much it looks like milk going bad. Yeah, right? there you go. There. Oh, that's beautiful. We're cutting a video. Almost like that's sour. That's beautiful. Like soured milk. That's beautiful. Just stir again. And we're so beautiful. Look, look, at, look, look, look at, at that. Wow. Look at that. That's that's cheese you. forming before your eyes. That happened. Oh, look at the curds in the way. It's like yeah. totally wow. separating. Making cheese in less than wow. 30 minutes. That's awesome. Isn't that amazing? You got a little Italian in you, don't you? Huh? A little bit Sicilian. Mommy? Sicilian. Mama? Mama's side? You got a little Dad's hillbilly. Dad's side? side? You got that hillbilly Tennessee action in you. I do. You're a Tennessee girl. I do, but my dad's side's Sicilian, my mom's side's. Purebred Tennessee girl. Tennessee. Born and raised, yes. Born and raised. Look at this, Sandy. That's awesome. It's amazing how the milk separated from the water. So quickly. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Sandy, where we at? All right, Sandy. we're at about two more minutes, so you want to just let it kind of sit there for a minute. Okay. Cowboy Jeremy wants a motley for his wife. Isn't she sweet? Oh, I would love that dough. Isn't that beautiful? It's Good amazing. Oh, okay. Maybe you can make cheese. That you, and I'll, just wait, just wait. Sandy, You'll be try to tell him you have contacts on the greater. Oh, no, hey, I'll no, give you no, my number. Great. You call that guy and see if he can get Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't she? When he she? has the next litter, I like oh. to look at him. Yeah, she'll call me immediately. Oh, All right. Um, let's turn it off. You know what you got for parents? What's from Amish? Okay. I'm going to wait one minute. That one? Right. Yeah. But she's not inbred. So how did you start doing this? What inspired you? I'm Asia female. You're the hair girl real long. It's like, like yum. Yeah, how did you find out about this? Internet research. I just like, like, how do you do mozzarella cheese? It can't be that hard. And it wasn't. Sandy's always been on the cutting edge, food wise. All right, now what you're gonna do is like you're gonna you're gonna pour. You want to take the curd into here. Right. So like oh, let as much juice as possible. Right now? Yeah. Go. Good. Good. And it's alright if you have water in there. You're gonna you're gonna squeeze it in a minute. Okay. So wow. there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't Excellent. That and that's, that's tremendous. And really what you could do is that you can put it in cheese cloth right now and it's ricotta. Really? If you if you put it in cheese cloth 
um, and then you let it hang, and you, it's ricotta. Really? But it, yeah, honestly. <laughs> but now it's uh, gonna, we're gonna make mozzarella out of this, and um, it's really easy. And don't worry about, it. you don't have to get all of it, but, okay. and then what you want to do is like get as much, when you think you got most of the humps out, mm -hmm. then take the back of the spoon. I'll let you when you think you got most of the hunks out. Okay, I'm almost there. And don't worry about like every single hunk. Okay, I think we're good. All right, now take the back of the spoon and squish and try to pour out more water from there. My dog is a weatherman. He knows two days before. Push the back of the spoon. Good, good, good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. My wife likes cats. We got a bunch of them. All right. Let's squish again with the back of the spoon. Okay. Now we're gonna move over to the table, Sandy. Well, we're gonna. Yes, we are. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna go to the microwave. Okay. What are we gonna do now, Sandy? We're gonna take it to the microwave for one minute. In the microwave for one minute. And then we'll be right back. Action. You instruct what I'm doing. What she's going to do is like uh, squeeze out more, all the moisture as possible and push down on the spoon again and keep smushing until the water comes out. Very good. Camille, excellent. You're natural. All right. And what are you squeezing it with? Like, uh, and now so like, you might want to turn it over okay, on, the, um, on the board. And if possible with your hands, if not, it's probably not possible with your hands right now. It's a little hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep smooshing. What's the point of that, to put the, put it all back together again? Well, you're kind of kneading it, and yeah. you're, getting, you're squeezing out the excess moisture. Kneading it like a bread dough, kind of? Exactly. Now, Camille, it's going to, it's hot. And... She's right to wash her hands, so I will do the same. And I'll get back in there with her, and she's going to squish it with the knife. The... There we go. Excellent. Excellent. That's great. There you go. And then when it, it gets cool enough that you can really handle it with your hand, which is coming up. Uh, there you go. She's going to squeeze it. She's going to knead it for another minute and then she's going to put it back in the bowl in a second and we're going to go back into the microwave wow. for another 30 seconds. No kidding. So the first time in the microwave is a minute, the second time is 30 seconds? Right. Exactly. After kneading. After kneading. Now like if you take it, take it and pull it for us Camille. See, it's still yeah. not, it's not shiny and it's not yeah. kind of wet. Dirty. Yeah, so it needs another 30 seconds in the microwave. Okay. All right, here you go again. One more time. If you can use your hands, that's great. You okay. probably can't because it's really hot. I see a lot of water. Yeah. Excellent. All right. All right. Very good. Turn it out of the board. And we want it to get shiny. We really want it to get shiny. Now it should. It should be getting shiny at this point. And don't worry about the, that at all. Is that not? We don't care about that? No, we don't care at all. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of that in the edit, editing process. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Yeah, if, need. if you can huh? with your hands, yeah, if you can, me. use this. And then when you can with your hands. Okay. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot. You're doing good. She's fearing the pain. It's not too bad. Alright, and I really need it, really need it like it's bread. Really go for it because it should be getting shiny by now. Yum. Yum. This is going to be yummy. We have some delicious tomatoes to serve it with. We've got yellow and red tomatoes. Wow. They're really fresh. They're on the vine. And a little basil, a little. Mo oh, look at this! It's, oh, it's look already. Look at it! Look at that! Elastic. It's elastic look at now. That. It's looking good. Now pull it apart and like 
very good. That's how it should look. Wow. It should stretch. Without breaking? Without breaking, like that. So Sandy, what do we do from here? After just uh, knead it for, and then what? Into the refrigerator to chill? In the refrigerator or leave it out, eat it now. I mean, yeah. what, what you want to do is so good. It's ready to be served. It's ready. It's ready. As soon as it looks shiny, it should look shiny and stretch really nicely without breaking. We're getting there. All right, like look, put it into a ball and let's just cut it and see how it goes. Yum. Do you feel good? Wow. Do you want salt? Do you want salt? Oh my gosh, we forgot the salt. <laughs> what kind of salt? And I do this all the time. Um, you can really use it. You could use the cheese salt. salt yeah. But we're going to use salt. cheese salt. And let's really let's work this in. You need about a teaspoon, maybe um, two teaspoons. Um, you want to knead it into it. We're going to add about a teaspoon. There we go. Um, maybe a or little bit more. The salt there we go. Cheese salt. Um, cheese salt, and again, you can get cheese salt. Just for flavor. She's gonna make no, a nice, pretty eaten. ball out of this. No, you shy? Oh, it's a can. I mean, we may have got to the point of needing flavor. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Who wants a bite? I do. Thank you. Anybody else? Wow. Good. That cheese salt makes it. That's something else. That's excellent. A little tomato on it. Sandy. Here's your drink. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing your recipe with us. Good Camille, job. Camille, you're a natural. I, I, I believe we'll see you in many future videos from <laughs> here on out. <laughs> Did I actually be on my Tennessee moonshine? Huh? Didn't see moonshine. No, I, I, I don't know how. I know how. Huh? I'll tell you that recipe. We'll have to bring Dad on for that. <laughs> huh? As I said, I think some tomatoes to go with this. Holler. There you go. Yum. Wow. Can I get a Did slice I of that yellow? Yeah, and that yellow. Nice. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. You grow oh. these in your backyard? Mm. You grow these in your backyard? I wish. No, I bought them at Central Market. Are you Sandy, it from your garden? <laughs> Sandy, yes, they're from my garden. Sandy, you have always been on the cutting edge, on the culinary world, baby. <laughs> huh? Because you love it. You love to entertain. And we've had so many good times. Love you. Love you too, Jeff. Okay. You know I do. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Camille. Bye-bye. Just do that again. We did it. And a little high five action. Oh, here we go. Little cheers, little cheers action. You did it. <laughs> Good. Awesome. You got it down now, Camille? I think I can do it. Huh? My own. You're the best. <laughs> Both you.